Hey everyone, I'm Sita Desai. Welcome back to EV Automation Hub. In this video, we are going to learn one very important topic. So we will learn how we can handle different environments in Cypress. For example, in your project, you have stage environment or prod environment or test environment. Okay, and you have to run your test cases based on the different environment. So in that cases, how we can deal with this? So in Cypress, we have different ways to deal with it. So the first approach is creating different config file per each environment. Now the second approach is creating cypress.environment.json. So where is this useful? For example, you don't have much data which is getting changed per environment. It's just a URL which is getting changed. In that case, you can go with the second approach. You can create a cypress.environment.json file in which you can create environment variables for prod URL or for stage URL. Fine. So now what we will do? First of all, I'll go with the first approach in which I will create two separate files for prod config and for stage config. And you can also follow the same approach based on your available environments in your project. You can create different config. So for example, in our project currently, there is only one config file. So you see in the project, if we see there is just one config file, which is cypress.config.js. Now we have to create multiple config files at the root level. So now let's create file for prod and then for the stage environment. So let's go to terminal and let's create a file. I'll just quickly go over here. And so for creating an empty file, what we can do, we can just use the command, which is touch prod.config.js. So we have to make sure the extension should be .config.js. And similar thing, we'll create one stage file also, .config.js. Fine. Now let's see at the root level if files got created. So you can see two files got created over here. And what is the basic template of config.js file? So this is the basic template of a config.js file. So this you have to pass. And now over here, what we will do, we can create either base URL or we can create different environment variables also. So first of all, we will create one base URL. Let's create base URL. And for prod, let's pass the URL as google.com, pass it like this. And same thing we will do for stage config file as well. So I'll just copy this one and let's go to stage config file, which is this one. And let's copy over here. And in this case, I'm going to change my URL so we, we can know this is our stage URL and this is our prod URL. So for example, let me pass over here amazon.com. So now we have two config files. One is stage, one is prod and both have different base URLs. Now we'll create a test file and then we will run the file passing different config files. So I've already created a basic template over here. So you can see uh, describe blog and hit blog is already defined. So what we will do, we will write the basic code just to open the URL. That's it. So how we can do that? So we know for opening a browser, what command we use? We use cy.visit. And now we have already passed the URL as a base URL. So we are not going to pass anything over here. Let the base URL come from the config file. So this is the simple code. We are just trying to understand over here the concept of different config files and how to deal with different config files in Cypress. Now go to your terminal. So in order to run the file, what command we use? We use npx cypress open. But over here, as we have two config files and we want to pass the data based on the config file. So what additional you have to do? You have to pass flag in your command, which is hyphen hyphen config hyphen file. And then you have to provide the name of the file. For example, let's run the first test case on prod. So I will pass over here prod.config.j. Once more, I'll explain what we are doing. Npx Cypress open. We use this command to run the Cypress test case. But additionally, we are passing hyphen hyphen config hyphen file along with the file name just to pass the data based on the config file. So here we are saying pass the data from prod.config.j. Otherwise, we do not pass any config file over here, it automatically picks from the config.js, which is a default config file in Cypress. But in order to pass a different one, we are going to pass the name. Of now let's run the command and let's see if it is picking from prod.config.js or not. So I'll just run the test case. And now it should run on google.com. You see my URL is google.com. And if we see in our test code, so if we see over here in the prod.config.js, you see, my base URL is google.com and I'll also show you the Cypress default config file, which is this config.js and I have not passed any base URL. So you see, there is no base URL in this file. That means it is fetching the base URL from our write file from the prod.config.js. Now, what we will do, we will run the same 
test case for stage environment fine so now let let's run it for the stage file so what we will do we will use the command npx i press open again and then hyphen hyphen config hyphen file and what is the name of config file so it's stage dot config dot js in this case the url will be fetched from stage file and the base url over here is amazon dot com now let's run it and let's see So you see over here, the URL gets changed to Amazon.com. Earlier it was Google, but now it's Amazon.com. So we can see based on the different config file, whatever we passed in our command, it is getting changed. The URL is getting changed. Fine. Now we will see one more case in which what we will do. We will create environments over here. We'll create different environment variables. For example, you have to pass username, password. So we can do that also. So in that case, for example, I will pass, let's say, I'll pass username and I'm just printing it, testing stage. And in the prod also, I will create environment object. We will pass username, so username, and I'll write over here, testing prod. Now in our test case, apart from cy.wizard, I'll print the username. So for that, for printing what we use, we use cy.log and I'll write over here, printing the username now we can call the environment variable so in order to call the environment variable we write, write this command which is cypress dot environment and inside that you have to pass the name of the environment so our environment variable name is username so i'm going to pass username over here so this cypress dot environment means it is fetching your environment variable we have environment variable passed in our prod as testing prod and in stage it's testing stage now we will run the test case again. We will run it on stage first and then we will run on prod and we will see different environment variables is getting passed or not. Let's see. Okay, let's run it. And now let's run our test case. So it is visiting amazon.com and you see printing the username testing stage because we chose the config file is stage.config.js and also it is fetching the environment from our stage file not from the cypress.config.js fine and now we will see it for production also now let's run the same command for production test case as well so this is the command to run on prod so this is our command now let's run the test case for production as well now execute it on chrome and this is test environment so you see username testing prod so this way you can pass different environment variables also based on the config file and you can create your own config file based on the whatever environments you have available so this is our first approach in which we can create different config files and we can pass the config file in our command so we can do one more thing let's say you want to run it on your ci cd pipeline right in that case you can create a script in package.json and then you can use the same script. So let's see that phase. So let's go to package.json, which is this one. And over here, let's, so let's create one script. So I'll write over here, cypress prod test, pass the script. So npx cypress run. And for now, let's run the single test case. If you have multiple test cases, you can just pass it like this along with the config file. But for now, we will just see single test case. So I will pass it like this. So spec. What is your spec file? So you have to pass the path of your spec file. So if spec file is inside Cypress and inside end to end. The name of file is test environment.cy.js. Fine. And along with this, we are going to pass the config file. So config hyphen file and then prod.config.js. So every time it's not feasible to write the command in your command line, it's better to create a script so that you can use the same script the same thing we will do for stage also so in case of stage what we will do we'll create a new script for stage as well i'll just change it to stage stage test and i will change the config file name to stage.config.js now before we run our script what we can do we can just make some small modification in our config file so whenever we run these test cases based on the different config file we can see the test results also in order to check the result, I'll just make some small modification. I'll go to our config file, which is prod.config.js, and I will write video as true. So we'll see the result also, the video of the test case, which will be running. And same thing I will do for stage config file as well. Why I'm doing this? Because now I'm running in headless mode. 
based on the script. And if I want to check if our test case is getting passed based on the config file, so we can check the video also. Fine, we just have to make small modification for this one. Now let's go to terminal and let's run the script. First of all, let's copy the prod test script. So I will run Cypress prod test. So you see, it is becoming very simple also. We don't have to write all the command. We are just using the script name. That's it. Now let's run it and let's so you see. This is actually executed. And now let's go to our videos folder and let's see the result for it. So our video is located at this location, Cypress video test, which is Cypress. And inside that we have a video package. Okay, now let's run the video and let's see if it got executed based on the correct config file or not. Now let's see it. So this was our prod test. You see. Testing username prod. So that means in headless mode also, this is working perfectly fine. And you can use the script in your CI CD file. Okay. So this was our first approach to create different config files. Now the second approach is to create cypress.environment.json where you can keep your all the URLs together. What we will do currently, if you see over here at the root level, we don't have any file cypress.environment.json. You see? So there is no such file over here. We will create one file. Let's go to terminal. Let me just clear it. And using the touch command, we will create a file. So cypress.hnv.json. Fine. Now let's see if our file got created. So you see, this is the file. In this, what we can do? We can create different environment variables. For example, for prod, I can create like this. So prod URL. Okay. And pass my prod URL over here. So for example, so for prod, let me pass this URL, fine. And for stage also, we can create a variable over here. So I'll create it like this, so stage underscore URL. And let me create a variable. So let's pass the URL of gmail.com, fine. Now we have two different URLs in our cypress.environment.json. And in our test case, what we will do? In our test case, we will directly use this name. So for example, in order to run it on prod URL, what I will do, I will use cypress.environment and then I will pass this key over there. So let's run it inside our CY dot with it. I will pass it like this. So cypress.environment and what is the environment variable name? So the environment variable name over here is prod URL. Fine. I'll just comment this one for now. So in case you have environment variable with the same name in your config file in your default config file, which is cypress.config.js. So this line will override that one. So let's say you have a environment variable in your cypress.environment.json and you have an environment variable in your cypress.config.js. The environment variable from cypress.environment.json will actually override your default one. Fine. And this is also asked in interview. This is also one of the very famous interview. This is a tricky question, which they ask in interview just to judge your knowledge. Now let's run the test case for this one. And let's see, let's go to terminal and let's run this test case. Fine. So NPX Cypress open. And let's run it on Chrome browser. And let's run our test case. So now you will see it will be running on the prod URL. So you see. So you can see over here, this is cypress.io, which we pass as a prod URL. And in case you want to pass a stage URL, so I just change it to stage URL. Fine. And now let me rerun the test case. It will be gmail.com. So now you see this is gmail.com. Fine. So this is also one of the approach which you can follow for passing different by passing different environment variables. Okay, so whatever is suitable for your project, let's say you don't have much data, you can go with this approach also. But let's say you have huge data, which is getting changed based, based on the environment, for example, username, password, URL, and the rest of the data is getting changed. Maybe in that case, you can create different config files like this. Okay, and in the config files, you can pass your, your base URL, or you can also pass the environment variables over there. Fine. So these are the two different approaches and this is one of the very important topic people generally get confused because earlier in the lower versions of Cypress, it was cypress.json and in which there were multiple JSON files which were created as a config file. But now with the latest version of Cypress, we have to create .config.js files.
it is not dot json anymore you have to create different config files with the extension dot config dot js and then you have to use that by passing the command which is hyphen hyphen config hyphen file okay i'll show you the command once again so this is our command this is how you run your test case based on the config file you see then the file should be at the root level that's why we are passing directly file we are not passing the path over here fine and you can pass it like this i'll also share my github repo with you in case you want to check the code you can check that also and if you want to check the command you can check it this is very important when you're working in a project when you're creating a framework you have to think about in this way where you can you know deal with different environments fine and this is a base of any framework fine so yeah that's it and uh, if you really find it useful and helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you